The Golden State Warriors are one hell of a basketball team. I, I seriously do mean that in terms of some days they look like everyone's saying the truth and that maybe the dynasty's behind them. The other days they've got new role players. They've got a bona fide second star in Jonathan Kaminga. I don't know, guys. What do, what do you guys think? Let's get right into today's video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on X. Check out my reporting at hoopshype.com. And let's get right into it. Now, look, it's interesting. It's interesting because when I look at this situation, Steve Kerr is, you know, a funny guy. As so many people are coming at him also for being a bad coach, at the, they're saying. But I think, I mean, they beat beat the brakes off of Milwaukee. Also, my nose is like itchy as hell. So they beat the brakes off of Milwaukee. They basically told them, hey, Dame, hey, Giannis, score. Hey, Bobby Porter, score. Guess what? You guys will combine for 63 points and then the rest of your team will combine for 27. We're cool with that. So I thought that was really cool. One thing that I think people aren't realizing is Kaminga just the ability to shoot over people with his size. We saw a little bit of Wiggins tonight who's getting like reintegrated. He could not hit the right side of a barn. I mean, he hit one three. That was his only shot he made. Curry did Curry things. Podizemski did Podizemski things that, you know, being a dog. And off the bench, Trace Jackson Davis, 15, six and four blocks. Looking athletic. And I love Kevon Looney, but he really did take Kevon Looney's job this year. And I know Kevon Looney's you know, it seemed like the injuries and the lower body injuries had really caught up to him and maybe lost that step of athleticism. And Chris Ball just was out there facilitating. Just you get an assist, you get an assist, you get an assist. Clay Thompson did his thing, shot, came shooting. I mean, he only had 10 points, but still. Same thing with Gary Payton, who was super efficient. It's just night like these where everyone did their job. Everyone did what they were supposed to. And they looked like bona fide, actual, Andrew like decent on the court. team. And that's that's one where Andrew, Andrew I don't know. I sorry, I keep trying to mute this. I'm also like super upset now that I'm thinking maybe these DeAndre Hunter like highlights that I played in my last video, ugh, might be unusable because I thought the media source on this was silent, but it wasn't. So. Like earlier, you guys probably heard Steve Kerr talk. Fuck me. So mad about that. But either way, yeah, no, I think one of the, the things that gets me kind of, you know, a little interested in this whole situation in terms of can they be an actual threat? Like the Heat were the eighth seed. The Warriors are the ninth seed right now. And not like they're below 500. They're 33 and 28. And that's where I look at them at. I think, yeah, I do still have a concern that they're not big enough, but they're a 12th ranked offense, which every day it seems like they're getting closer to top 10 offense and their defense is 18th. But again, it's slowly looking like it's getting to the middle of the pack and that's all they need. And for all the offensive players that they now have, because you got Jonathan Kaminga, you got Steph. Those two can give you 50 combined points every night. Outside of that, who who do we have? We have, you know, like 17 a night from Clay. All right. I guess Wiggins gives you like 13. You get 10 from like Podizemski. So that's 23 points. 17, that's 40. So you get 90 points from those five dudes right there. That's not bad. And then you still get like nine points from Draymond, nine points from Chris Paul, nine points from Darius Arch if you play him, nine points from Moses Moody when you play him. So those, what, three dudes, four dudes right there, depending if you play them or not, in their typical minutes, can combine between 27 and 36 points on top of what? The 90 points we just talked about earlier. So that's like 117 points. And guess what? How many points this team scores a night? 118.6. So I, I think they, they have the scoring. They have the ability to, to be good. And yeah, for me, I, I think it's 
I think it's possible, and I don't think it's ludicrous when we hear I'm talking that, yeah, they there's a reason why they're as confident as they seem because they do believe that they have a squad that is capable of being threats in the playoffs when they go against teams that maybe we maybe don't think would typically i don't know maybe that's a, a preposterous take on my part but i want to hear your guys' thoughts if you guys agree with me that's it's an interesting situation that we're in with how the modern nba is especially with the the west just being so packed with good teams that it's a this is a game of runs ladies and gentlemen anybody can win a basketball game um i think they're they're at a they're looking at it the same way that the the miami heat are looking at this and that you don't want to see them in the post season so my thoughts right there is yeah i don't think people want to see the the warriors in the postseason as they're they're a team that is hungry talented and has the right mix of youth that gives them energy but as well as veterans that keep them level-headed and obviously aware of any potential i guess the right way would be mishaps or missteps that they could make for being so young so for me yeah i think it's definitely a a big opportunity for them and Again, I don't have them as my favorites to win anything, but if we were just talking f solely from the standpoint that, hey, this is a team that, similar, if there was a team in the West that if they were in the play, I guess people were gonna say the Los Angeles Lakers because they, they did it last year. But yeah, I think, yeah, this, this is a team that could easily be like the Lakers, like the Heat, that if you see them in, the playoffs i think they have a shot to win again my biggest concern is still size because they're freaking anemic in terms of in comparison to teams like with anthony davis on the lakers Jokic and lebron it's i think it's quite evident that there is a disparity in height there but i'm i'm intrigued okay what is it jeremy timbers i don't even know I, I i do find it fascinating and i think there there is a road to understanding that trace jackson davis and jonathan Kaminga are big parts big parts to the puzzle that really could be a team that if you had to put money and say oh who's my dark horse contenders to upset a team and make a deep playoff run golden state isn't a bad choice and i'm not a better but if you were i wouldn't mind putting house money on that one in my opinion